Hello, Lilas. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Guys, 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 guys. So if you guys have not subscribed to this channel, please make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this channel by clicking the subscribe button. And if you guys, <laughs> if you guys um, would please give this video a thumbs up or like the video, comment below. Anyway, I'm, I'm a little all over the place. Um, so as you guys see, I have a new baby here. And this is my personal baby. This is not a baby for sale. And I don't know if it's because the timing was just perfect or what. I've loved this sculpt from the very beginning when I saw it. But I hadn't bought it yet. And so I went ahead and I purchased me a kit and... I mean, I was just so in love with it. It was every time I would see one come available, um, the, um, actually I fell in love with Mimi Litra's, um, Mick and I, every time she would put it up for hers for up for sale, I, I would be like, just bought a baby or can't buy right then and all that stuff. So you know how it go and I said the last time I tried to buy the, the kit it wasn't in stock and then finally I, I don't know it just worked out and I bought it and I'm gonna tell you like the videos and pictures are does not do her justice if I say so myself I think she's one of the most realistic babies I've ever painted and that's funny because I painted her really fast in a, actually in a couple days <laughs> And, but that also was all day, all night type, type of thing. But anyway, that's something that artists like to, you know, make, um, exaggerate on the time that they take to paint. Um, once you get familiar and you have something in mind, you can kind of paint faster. Um, but yeah. So anyway. She's milk, 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 milk. She's Mick by Audrey Stoetti. I had intended on her being a boy. I thought she would only be a boy. But once I rooted her eyelashes, I was like, mm, she's looking girly. So um, if you guys have not followed me on Instagram, please follow me. It's Miss Serenity Smith. Um, I actually have, um, we'll have lots of photos of her like I'll be spamming all day so let me show you guys her she's 16 inches so she's a preemie she has a little tummy plate let's see there's a tummy plate so and I did some really pretty veining on her tummy plate um, and so like she has full limbs I waited her to be she's 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 floppy and she feels really nice she's not light either and these are her little feet. So, those are her little feet. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, and I did not do a whole... I barely tipped her her nails because um, when my grandbabies was born, my daughter was saying... Um, I remember my, da my daughter saying after... Uh, couple days or so she was like oh um she's finally getting nails or whatever I did take and put some of the markings on her that was on my grandbabies so that was one of the, one of my inspirations and being that you know my daughter had preemies I I've been craving to <laughs> have a preemie because I haven't been able to hold I haven't been able to hold them um you know well, you know how that go or hold her um so anyway um so yeah so she's a baldy and she'll probably be a baldy for quite some time this is a beautiful shape head let me tell you something this sculpt is amazing i've seen a lot of sculpts and i'm not just saying this because she's a preemie and the timing i'm telling you Audrey Stoetti did this sculpt. Like, I mean, 
it's just amazing like I really love all the details I love the arms I love the, the hand positions I love the details in the little elbows like it's just a lot and um gosh she's not shiny shiny it's just this camera but um and her texture came out so nice I don't know let's see if you guys can Hang on, let me see if it focuses. Her texture came out really, really nice. I don't know if you guys can see that. And I've been doing this for a while, where when you like press, it it looks like skin type thing. Um, I see a lot of people like talking about it a lot, but I've been doing it for a while. Those that saw my babies at the doll show last year. Um, seen that I I do the texture thing where people that's bought from me I've done it and I gave her like like a veining in her her wrist like it's just a lot of little things that I you know and it's kind of got that I don't know if it'll focus but I don't know you just have to see her she just I mean in person she's just lovely I actually had her in my room um this morning because i actually finished her this morning i literally woke up realized i fell asleep started back painting on her fit working on her and did her eyebrows and sealed her and all that great jazz in the wee morning so it was like 307 or something like that i think that i finished her in the morning yeah so it was crazy and i'd already ordered some preemie socks so um that was perfect these are a little a little bottom of her feet oh i just i'm just like so in love with her i feel like everything came out just the way that i wanted it i i was at a point where i was about to stop and i said no 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 don't rush it don't rush the end because i'm very bad at that like i will rush the end and I, I was like, no, 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 don't rush the end. And so I kept working on her and kept working on her, working on her. And I'm so glad that I did. I'm so glad that I kept going because she deserved to be perfect. Where's your little hat? <laughs> she's cute with, she's so cute, like with the pacifier. And she's cute without the pacifier. So I keep putting it in and taking it out. But you'll see lots of, you know, photos of her with both. I, I'm, I, I was playing with the coloring. And I was trying to get her color to show up, like, right on the camera. That's the thing. When you paint with a lot of undertones, it's sometimes it's very hard to um get the lighting just right because somehow the camera wants to always pick up every single undertone or you know different lighters want to pick up one more than the other etc etc i love her eyelids that's one of the little things she got from and i gave her a little scratch on her nose and a little scratch under her eye like oh my god i just i experimented on some stuff i did the little like the milk bumps like things I experimented on a lot of different things I think the next time I know what I'm gonna do I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a different color right at the top so but I am very 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 happy with the way she turned out I hope you guys like her I'm gonna name her really really soon <laughs> really really soon oh my gosh every time early in the morning I'm gonna name her soon I just just trying to think of what I should name her she is a forever baby I'm I am serious about this one I'm pretty certain that unless something really really crazy happened this 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 is the one this this is the one to keep oh my god like I can't wait to to dress her and stuff oh my god like Okay, so I don't have much time and I don't want to spend too much time and I don't want to talk too crazy about it. But maybe 
I don't know if I should share this public, but you guys, some of you guys make it relate. Um, when you, I've never really understood, like I understood, I'm, I don't say that. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it or put it into words, but for whatever reason, because I haven't been able to hold my grandbaby yet, um, I've just been having this like real craving. Like I really want to, to, to hold, um, hold her. And so I've spent so much time in waiting just her body to get it as perfect as I can remember how a baby would feel. And when I finally got her all together and stuff and like just holding her right here like right now something about it is a little calming and to people that have never seen these dolls in person have never collected these dolls in person may not understand it but it's something therapeutic about being able to hold and feel the weight of these dolls um It just like seeing her like I can't move her right now because I really like the, the way she's look on the camera right now. <laughs> it it has me like so emotional, like tearing up, like you know, just I can't explain it, but I get it, and it's not. I can't go too deep into this right here, but. I don't know, maybe later down the road I, I can talk about it more fully. There are some things that I, you know, out of respect for, you know, privacy and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, it's just, I don't know. She just really came at a perfect time. So I am so grateful and I do, this is, this is, this is what, this is what is so amazing. I just... This morning, not just about the doll, just period. I just like thank I've just been so thankful and thanking God that He has like blessed me with a gift to be able to paint my own dolls and stuff because <clears throat> I am such an addict <laughs> at collecting dolls and it's it saves me money and I just get so much relief as far as stress and stuff like that with um painting. And stuff and it's just you know so anyway I know I'm, I'm rambling but yeah it's just guys you just have no idea look at this little sock done kicked off <laughs> just like a real baby would do they they kick this they kick the little socks off they never keep those little socks on but yeah isn't she just thinking adorable she's so adorable so I'm gonna be thinking of a very special name for her um, she gotta have something. I, I, oh, there we go. We already had a Serenity because otherwise I would name our baby Serenity. But, well, no, we'll see. But I, 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 like, if it wasn't for this thing that's going on right now, I would, I would have to get up in the morning and, and take her to my mom. That's, that's how excited I am about her. Like, for real. Like, the next time I have to take um, Gabby to my mom, I'm going to take her. Like, it's crazy. So, I'm excited. I'm working on Evie by Laura Lee Eagles. Um, she's a different skin tone. I'm trying some other colorings as well with her. Um, so I'm almost, almost done with her, but I'm not rushing to finish with her either. I want to really enjoy the process. That baby will be available, guys. Um, just keep following me here and Instagram and I will post her when she's available. My hopes is to have her rooted, um, because she would be next in line. So, which, you know, within a, a, a week or two or... She should be able to go off for rooting. I haven't decided if I'll show her 
before her rooting. So um, that's where I'm at with that. But um, that and then I'm hoping to finish Finn, like I told you guys before, this weekend and early Monday or Tuesday. Be able to have photos and ready for him to be sold and shipped out. Um, and then I'm hoping to bring my other Finn home to paint and um yeah um there is a silicone baby that i really really want a, it's a full body um preemie um about the same size as this baby that i really really want to but i don't know how things will fall but i i have a lot going on um personal Stuff that comes up, you know, that I got to take care of before I do anything. So I'm trying to sell some dolls to take care of that and, um, and then go from there. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.